seven. A six yard pickup brings up second and four at the 47 yard line. Four yards remain for second down. It'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. He lost two and it brings up four. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels, because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. They'll let this go for the end zone. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second and ten, Lawrence. And connecting here with DJ Shark. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Leo, Leo. ATN with it. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 38, Lawrence flushed out right. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he is going to have a Jags first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. 
plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check 26, check 26. Any weapon? Oh, shit. Bravo. Oh, shit. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second and ten. On play action, Lawrence. He'll get this off to ETN. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now Lawrence. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. That also a career-long kick for the veteran, Charles. Yeah, how about what he just got done there? We always knew he had a big leg, but how about everything coming together perfectly on that one? Great leg swing, and bang, that one through. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he won't quite make it to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if you guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. A gain of three, second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He'll buy some time right. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw taken in by Cooper here. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. To throw is Prescott. Flush to his right. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. On first and ten, Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Then he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Boy, that one was well-read defensively, and this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. On second down, it's Elliott. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and a short game down to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Prescott to throw it. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On third down, it's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. This one home, it's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. A 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Polluting the pressure right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And that now are two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now Lawrence on first down. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big-time arm strength. Very nice route. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETN. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. He was true on his first, this a tough one, from 49 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. 
Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. On third down, Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Open man, Lamb, it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Dak Prescott with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. The 
the Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football <laughs> offense? Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Jaguars. Well, I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and it turns up field. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And, oh, that's one he's going to want back. A poor kick, it heads straight out of bounds. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 40. They're going to look to throw. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Here we go. Here we go. A big play here for Dallas. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Prescott. This is caught. Touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys on just two plays have taken the lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Extra point up and through, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And...
That one awesome mark behind him, incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go play action now. Lawrence. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Prescott off play action. And that's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Prescott now. Flushed out right. And yeah, this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. And it's complete. They're going to get the first. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. I know we don't like to admit it. We like to appear to be on top of every situation. But there's no way we expected that. They have the lead. And they pull the fake. <laughs> Well, I hit you on your leg under the table because I couldn't believe they were doing that. You're right, lead fourth quarter, but I guess they wanted a bigger cushion. I guess so, but I guess maybe that is the beauty of it because there's no way they could have expected on the other side of the ball as well. They have the lead. They expect them to go ahead and kick it. Swinging this out for Pollard. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a 19-point game. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first down, Lawrence. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That's 30 yards now in the last two plays, back-to-back 15-yarders, -back and they're rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Lawrence to throw. 
And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Cortland Sutton there to make the grab. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. And some room to work. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Pretty ideal right there, keeping yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head, his head coach, or probably his agent too, saying, get out of bounds, man, don't do that. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Again, Dak going to keep it. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Run of the Jets sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. Well, we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance. So not a surprise. But there still is something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice and pregame to actually doing it in live action. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Flush to his right. Finding Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And incomplete on the deep ball. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Lawrence going to throw again. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. The open man is Shark. It's complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. The extra point up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Throwing after the interception. Lawrence got his man complete over the middle. It's Sutton. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defense...